Oh my gosh. I mean, it's impossible for her to land the ball outside of a couple of feet here at 18. That's impressive. Feeling good. Another brilliant tee shot in here at the par 3 18th. Carpoos now for Birdie. Just making this 18th look awfully easy the first three days. Although she did three putt yesterday, but I mean, the tee shots have been spectacular. 68, heck of a round. For Carlotta Seganda, the flag. Morgan has just tucked over that bunker today. No problem for Carlotta Seganda, though. Now she was begging for it to go. Goal around this golf course is keep the ball below the hole at all costs. Oh, yeah, caught enough the hole. Gets her back to level par for the day. Back to back birdie. She made another one. Yes, she has. That was very impressive. You could see from our angle just how much break. There was in that putt, and the, and the speed was spot on. Maybe about a quarter club breeze into the players right now. Ooh, the line is really good. Yeah, the distance too, Jerry. Fantastic shot. Yeah, that's a, it's not even a wager. I mean, <laughs> that's off the board. That one was going in. It's early in the season, but those stats won't change much throughout the year. Right, that it be the number. Oh, almost perfect. And they look really, really smooth today. I think maybe just less traffic ahead of them than yesterday afternoon. Quite a bit of break there. 74 players made the cut. They have plus three. The wind is trying to pick up just a little bit into us right at this moment. It's quite a high shot. Yeah, that's well done. Leaves it below the hole. Taking on the number one player in the world in the same group, the final group today on this Saturday. Over in the Barranca. Come back. Are you kidding me? It's going to go in, isn't it? Oh. <laughs> yeah. You're not so sure she would be able to see it from down there, but the reaction. And G. Lee's second at the 11th. Nearly impossible to get close. Dog leg eight iron. And she's playing the dog leg, Tom. Big fade. Oh, wow. That is just a ball striker right there. That's best in show. Yeah, took some attention, but she's, uh... 287 is the exact yardage here to the front edge. This is the third for Celine Boutier. Does get there, picks up a shot. This is at the 13th, the third shot for Lizette. That's one way to stop it. Sometimes you get really unlucky when it hits the flag, but that one seemed to work out all right. Let's see if Lizette can take advantage of the little bit of good fortune she had there. Yeah, birdie. Chose to lay up here off the tee. Players can choose to take on the bunker that's right in the middle of the fairway, playing to the strength of Lizette's game and her wedge game. Put a lot of spin on that. Below the hole. Good tee shot here, right center of the fairway, 81 yards. Wind freshening just a hair. Straight in. That's pulled. Backstop if it hits it. Yeah, caught it. Gonna work out all right. Fortunate, just. Second for NB Park at 14. 80 yards, 50 degree wedge into the breeze. Little one. Good little one. 
That was a gorgeous controlled swing right there, Jerry. Still spun, I think, a little bit more than she would have hoped. Somehow you had a feeling. Somehow. Got to control the spin because they're very easy to spin off the front left of the screen. Just a little bruise back into. Yeah, well done. Got to control the spin because they're very easy to spin off the front left of the screen. A little bruise back into. Yeah, well done. First, though, it'll be Hannah Green. The reason for that is that NASA just had a little pit stop. Got Hannah playing a nice shot there. I don't see how this doesn't move a little bit to the right, even though Jin Young Ko's broke the opposite way. That was positive. Yeah, good stroke there. LPGA Tour by six yards in terms of proximity from here. But that was sneaky. Very sneaky. You know, Karen, she's the <laughs> furthest of the three, but she might have the easiest putt. You can see it in her scoring so far this week. Let's go to 18. A moment ago, Yuka Sasso, the winner of the U.S. Women's Open in 2021. Did it? It did. Along with the sixth hole, the fewest birdies of uh, any of the holes out there. Four birdies at 17 now. Player who really enjoys uh, coming to this event, went to UCLA. Four under par. She's been working on some swing changes over the last several months. Started working with Grant Waite after the CME Group Tour Championship at the end of last season. Yeah. Flawless today, Jin Young Ko. No bogeys on the card. Another birdie, and she moves to 10 under par. Tied for the lead. On the tee, Carlota Segando will get a look at the ball flight from Top Tracer Technology. She's at even par. Should see a little bit of a fade with this line here. This is a shot she likes to hit, but that's almost a bit of a draw. Uh, it was the right shot. Yeah. Well In done. the end. Beauty. Segando for birdie at 18. Hmm. Great tee shot in here. Can't yeah. take advantage. Yeah, just a little bit of a weak putt there. Didn't. Well, I think it's. I think a lot of it is how you present the information too. I think sometimes players can get quite demanding and want the information sometimes too quick. But he has just the right speed to him with how he delivers it. And that and that was the right information as I, well. It, it must have been. It was right at it. And Karen yesterday she said she was so in the zone she didn't even know she was five under par on the back nine. There you go. That putter's been incredible. And and that's just that's just Jin Young in a nutshell. She didn't get flustered after making the mistake. Little slippery down the hill. Two shot swing it is. And think about where Jin Young Ko was in the fairway. Definitely, as you said, Terry. Great round of golf coming up for her, too. Easy done. Two since tomorrow. So in second place all by herself after this 69 here on day three. Hannah Green at seven under. Oh. That was amazing. That just shows mental strength to the nth degree. Wow. That is Jin Young Ko. Solid right to the end of this third round. Four under today, 11 under overall.